Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Nook Designs, and today I'm going to share with you how to create this super cute dinosaur themed Christmas card. Um, this card features our prehistoric Christmas stamp set and our Maui Christmas paper pad. And I thought using the Velasa wrapper with all these pattern papers that kind of remind me of wrapping paper was just a fun way to create a Christmas greeting. So first we used an image from our prehistoric Christmas stamp set. This one has a whole bunch of fun ones. We've got a tree ceratops, ski rex, Velasa wrapper, Santasaurus, and then the have a dynamite Christmas. So lots of fun dinosaur puns if you know anyone that likes dinosaurs or just has a sense of humor for Christmas. This is a great set for making Christmas cards. So today I'm going to use the Velasa wrapper stamp and I'm just going to stamp him on a piece of cardstock that is Copic friendly because I'm going to be using Copic markers today. So I'm using Nina Solar White and Memento Ink to stamp this guy here. So you just want to make sure you get him really inked up. And it doesn't matter where you stamp him because you're going to be cutting him out. So I'm just going to stamp him in the corner there. Oop. I got a little bit of a jiggle when I brought it up. I'm going to do it one more time just if that ever happened to you just when you're pushing up you smudge the stamp. It's probably okay I might still use it but we'll do it one more time. Give it a second to really set. There, that one looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and then color this image. And I will um, place the colors that I'm using up here so you can see what colors I used. But I'm probably going to speed up this part of the video so you don't have to have it in real time. Sometimes it takes a long time to color. Okay, he's all colored now. We're going to use the coordinating die set to cut him out. 
let's see. This is the right one. And I just use a little tape to line them up. And then I will be right back with him cut out. Here he is, all cut out and ready to add to our card. And while we're die cutting, I have a few more pieces I need to die cut. I'm going to do a banner from our Banner Trio die set, an oval from our oval frames, and uh, the extra postage edge. That's going to be our base from our framework die set. So I'm going to do that one out of green. and a banner from white to put our sentiment on and for our oval I'm going to use vellum so I'm going to go cut those pieces out as well and then we'll be ready to make our pattern part so here are the remaining pieces we need to make our card we've got our oval the banner using our banner trio. Now this one sometimes sticks so you have to use the little holes to pop out the piece. And once you do that it comes out really easily. And then the frame. There's all the pieces for our card. And then what we need to do is stamp the sentiment onto this banner. So I'm going to use uh, VersaFine ink to do that. I found that is my most foolproof ink for doing sentiments. It's the least really nice crisp black ink. Works great. I usually find I don't mess sentiments up when I use this. So we've got our Velasa wrapper. And I'm just going to stamp that kind of towards the right side of this so the dinosaur can overlap on the left. All right. Now we have everything we need except for that pattern paper panel. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then show you how I created that. Okay, for this I'm going to use our Meowie Christmas paper pad, which is kind of funny because I know it's a dinosaur card, but I really just loved the present paper that's inside this one. And then, uh, even though a lot of these have kitties on them, there's also just plain prints on the backs of a lot of them. So there's a lot of variety in these paper pads where you can mix and match them to just kind of create whatever um, you're looking for. You're definitely going to find it, whether it's a basic print or something with a kitty on. Um, and if you like puppies, we do also have a canine Christmas, uh, similar color palettes. So you can mix and match those together. And this one does have dogs in it instead of cats. And then we have our Christmas time paper, which instead of dogs and cats, this one has um, nutcrackers, Santas, cars, trains, things like that. So there's a nice variety of Christmas pads and you could use any of these to create this card I'm doing today but I just chose to use the Maui Christmas like I said just because I, I was looking through my papers and I'm like ooh that would be perfect to go with the Velasa wrapper. Um, so that's why I choose this one. Now this is the one I showed you was a new one. This is the one that I use out of my you know everyday crafting and what happens to me is when I'm cutting a piece of paper I'll end up with a lot of extras so here's like this little bag I keep or envelope rather that I keep all my extras for Meowie Christmas in and so this is a great way to use up those little extras the scraps um, just kind of save all those pieces because they're definitely useful um, for something like this okay what I did was cut this to four and three quarters by three and a half. And that is gonna fit just perfectly inside the stitched frame on this framework 
border. So that's why I cut it that size. So this is gonna be where we're gonna put all of our paper. So I just kind of will go through, I knew I, I know I wanna use these. So I'm just gonna kind of go through and do it here. Decide which papers go where. And you can, you know, look at the other side. Maybe that you want to use a polka dot instead of the pattern. Um, that one's got kitties on the other side. So I'm just kind of arranging these until I like the way they look. And it's totally fine if they go off the edge. We're just going to trim it at the end. So I'm really just looking for ones that are long enough to fit across it, whichever angle you choose to do. I mean, you could go straight, you could go more angled. I think I'm liking what I have here. Um, and even like a little piece chunk like this, you could totally use that on the end. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. So I've got lots of fun little scraps here. It's a great way to use up scraps too. So there, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna just kind of put my hand on here and get that card stuck out from under there without messing this up too much so I can remember how I had it laid out. And then I'm going to cover this whole piece with adhesive. You could use liquid glue if you like that better um, or whatever your adhesive of choice is. I like this liner. And then all you need to do is kind of just duplicate what you had, this time right over the adhesive piece. And you're just going to be cutting off the extra. So I'm going to leave them with the longest part hanging off one side so that I'll have those scraps to use again on another card if I want. I gotta look at it all the way to the edge. There. So you want to make sure you're covering both edges so you don't have little white gaps or sticky gaps when you're done. Move this over so you can see a little better. So this is a great way to use up all those pattern papers. I know sometimes it's hard to cut into them. They're so pretty, you just want to keep them forever. But this is a great way to showcase all the pretty prints. So don't be afraid to cut them up. You can always get another pad. And then there's always something you can do with those extra little pieces. You don't have to toss them. You can still use them. I love how fun this is. It totally reminds me of wrapping paper, which is why I think it goes so well with that dinosaur image. Okay, so now all of this is pressed in there good on the adhesive. Then I'm just gonna turn it over and cut off the excess bits. Now some of these are probably too small to save or use again, but some of them are definitely big enough that you could save them, put them back in your a little sleeve. Oh, it looks like I have a little one there, so I'll have to fix that. Um, and use them for other projects like this. It's a real great way to get a lot of mileage out of those papers. Alright, so we had a little one. Maybe one fell off on the end there, I think. Oh, well, maybe I just didn't have enough adhesive. So let's add that one back in. Okay, so there is our fun pattern paper. Now we just need to put everything together. So we'll bring back our border and glue this onto there. 
Now this uh, border is from our framework die set. We also have one called Frames and Flags that has a scalloped edge, if you prefer that. But I think the postage edge is really fun for Christmas cards. It kind of reminds me of a postage stamp. Like that. And then let's put this on our white card base too. So that part is done. Centering is always the hard part, right? Okay. Then we just have to assemble this. I'm going to put a little adhesive on the back of the dinosaur and add him onto this banner. I'm just going to put him right over the edge there. Like that. And then in the back side, I'm actually going to use dimensional adhesive so that he can pop up off of the card a little bit. So I've got a big one there. And then I'm just cutting this from a larger roll. But if you prefer, you can get dots or different forms of a dimensional adhesive, or you don't have to. Sometimes it's nice to have the card to be flat so that it's easier to mail. Um, but I really do like adding a little bit of dimension. So we're going to take all these off and then I'm going to add him right over that piece of vellum. And I like adding vellum over a pattern just because it kind of diffuses the busyness a little bit and helps you focus on your character. So I'm going to put him right in the middle there. And then vellum is always hard to adhere. A lot of times you can see through it. But what I do then is I always wait till I have everything on the vellum that I'm going to layer over it. And then I can adhere behind that because you're not going to see that. So it doesn't matter what it looks like behind. There we go. So there is the Velociraptor card. Isn't that fun? So again, you could do this same layout with any stamp set. I made a few other examples um, to show you. Here's one using our Meowie. Uh, this is um, Newton's Holiday Mischief. And it has the Meowie Christmas as a sentiment. And I use the same paper pad as I did on this one. But you can see how different it looks um, just by the patterns that I chose. This different scraps on this one. Some argyle, some paw prints I thought would be cute to go with the kitty. So there's that. And then I made another one um, using our Naughty or Mice stamp set. And that one I watercolored the image for a different look on some watercolor paper. And I used our Christmas time paper pad on this one, which has a little bit more general patterns like holly and plaid and things like that. And I thought that went really well with the mouse. So you can see how easy it is once you do one of these to make a whole bunch of cards. Um, everyone is unique, everyone is fun, and you're using up your scraps, which is great. So I hope you enjoyed this today and are inspired to try to make cards like this of your own. Use up all those paper scraps. Don't be afraid to use your papers. Use them. They're so much fun. Um, you can find all of our products that I use today at newtonsnookdesigns.com. Um, most of these are in the holiday category. Oh, there's also a separate category for paper, and the dies will be under the shape dies. So, and I will link everything, of course, in the description um, to this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope everyone out there has a Velasa wrapper to help them finish their Christmas wrapping and get ready for Christmas, because it's going to be here very soon, and I definitely still have some wrapping to do, so I could use him to come help me for sure. So thank you so much, and don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can um, see how many people are viewing our videos. We love it to see, hear from you if you like our videos, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. As always, have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.